Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do another art journal. I stick two pages together back and forth on my journal. And uh, today I'm going to create my background with brushes. Brushes are powder pigments, if you don't know them. Uh, they are like uh, Lindy Stamp Gang Infusions, uh, one of the powder pigments that are in the market. I have some colors of them. So I'm going to create uh, a background using these powder pigments. You will see the colors I'm using on the screen while I'm using them. And uh, to uh, activate the pigments I'm actually using matte medium, not water. You can also use uh, water uh, and the effects will be different. Since I like a, a bit of control I chose this time to use matte medium. And uh, I sprinkled a little bit water to move them easier and I switched to another color. I'm creating a night scene so I'm using the shades of blue. These uh, powder pigments are in small bottles. These are plastic bottles so I uh, poke uh, a couple of poles, uh, holes on them and then I close it with, uh, with the normal tape so they don't uh, sprinkle around when I'm not using them. I also used a little bit of uh, black uh, and uh, as you see I'm uh, trying to blend colors until I'm happy. I really love how it turned out. It's very vibrant uh, and there is some variation in color which makes it uh, magical. I'm using this background stamp from Hero Arts. Uh, I love how delicate it is. I'm going to use it as a background uh, stamp uh, just uh, on the corners. And I'm using a shade of blue from Memento Ink uh, just to go with the colors in the background and be subtle. The color I'm using is Paris Dusk. I'm just uh, stamping it on the corner and uh, I will stamp a little bit more just uh, to make it not a square uh, but more organic. And I will do the same on the other corner. This somehow uh, gives my page a definition uh, creating a nice border uh, on the left and right. And now I want to do a little bit more background stamping. Uh, this is a little stamp uh, that was uh, from Limor Weber in the Gablu. It had uh, many stamps actually like this uh, in circles so it's a part of it. And I used another color of blue, Danube Blue from Memento. Now I'm going to move to my focal point. Uh, I'm using a sunflower stamp set from Paper Mania. I love this stamp set but I didn't use it yet. I got it a while ago. Uh, it was always in my mind to use it. But uh, today is the day. I'm going to select a few of them. Uh, it's actually a stamp set that you could create your own sunflower. Uh, you saw them separately as well. Uh, you could uh, bring them together, make it dimensional and uh, stick a bling in the center for example. However, today I'm going to stamp them on my paper. I'm, I feel a little bit lazy to create my own flower. I'm going to use the ready one on the stamp set. I'm covering my flowers with matte medium here to do the uh, coloring. Uh, this way it will be really easy. I'm going to use my Faber-Castell big brush uh, markers uh, and uh, blend it with my finger easily so that uh, uh, it, will, it will take uh, very little time for me. Again you will see the colors I'm using on the screen. I simply color it and smudge it with my finger and I will do the shading with different colors. I don't care if I go outside the line because I'm going to cut these flowers. While I do this I can also tell you the full list of supplies that I am using today are down at the description area or in my blog. You will also find the close-up pictures in my blog as well. Although you see me coloring the small flowers here because I didn't know my composition exactly, you will see that I'm not actually going to use all the flowers here. And I am blending 
back with the yellow uh, pen that I used at the very beginning. Here are my flowers all cut uh, and uh, I'm going to decide on the composition now. Before I stick my flowers I want to do a little bit more stenciling giving uh, more interest to my background. To do so I'm going to use my Nouveau embellishment mousse uh, in Indian gold. I'm using this stenciling uh, brush uh, to pick up the color from the jar. And uh, I am uh, going to do uh, go over my stencil just to give this color to my page. Apologies, the uh, jar is uh, off camera here, uh, but it's the uh, embellishment mousse uh, that is a kind of waxy texture, so it's not messy at all. Easy to apply over a stencil and creates a very nice shimmery uh, texture on my page. The stencil I'm using is from Carabas Studio. It's a, a stencil that I really like. It creates a very nice uh, design. And my sentiment is about uh, the night and the sun. You will see in a second when I uh, do it. But uh, because of that I decided to use this stencil that looks like uh, rays. And uh, I made them uh, the rays coming from the sun maybe. And uh, I... Uh, Again use this gold uh, embellishment mousse to go over it and uh, since it created very uh, sharp edges I'm just getting rid of those edges and maybe uh, creating a little sun here, golden sun. Now that my golden sun is uh, in place I'm going to stick my uh, sunflowers. I'm going around the edges with my uh, Faber Castell brush pen in black uh, just to get rid of the white edges. And I am sticking my flowers with matte medium. I'm not giving any dimension on purpose because this art journal became so bulky. I don't think it could take more. So I'm trying to be a flat, as flat as possible. Now I'm going to draw the stems. I'm making them black because it's a night scenery, so it's okay. Uh, and I'm going to stick my leaves uh, on the stems as well. to do my shading with my Faber Castell brush pen again. I'm using a darker blue than what it is on the background and I'm going around the edges of the sunflower just to blend it uh, nicely with the background and I'm not worried about uh, giving some blue to the flowers because I can clean them easily with uh, my baby wipe since I use matte medium on these uh, flowers as well. Now it's time for the sentiment. I'm using this uh, alphabet set that has uh, many options uh, and sizes of letters. Uh, since it is long I'm going to use the smallest one and I'm going to emboss my sentiment with gold embossing powder. This is a super fine embossing powder from WoW. Uh, because the uh, letters are small I want to use a super fine powder. I covered all my page with my powder tool for the uh, embossing powder to stick where it's supposed to stick. I'm using these beautiful uh, letters from Concord and Knight as well. This is sophisticated alphabet and I'm using only one word, sun, uh, with this alphabet to highlight it. My sentiment is even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. 
I really love it. It's from Victor Hugo. So I wrote it a little with my gold gel pen as well underneath the sentiment. And uh, it goes very well with my page too. Uh, I am also doing some splashes with gold ink from Liquitex just to bring the page together with all the gold details. And I am not missing the chance to use my gold stickers on my sunflowers just uh, inside the center a little bit just to give a bit of shimmer and again uh, to bring things together with all the gold details. And the page is finished. Uh, I really love it. Uh, this can be one of my favorite pages actually with the colors uh, and the gold details. I hope you like it too. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment. That's how I know you like my videos and I keep doing them. Reminding again, you will find list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as well as the close-up pictures. For more inspiration, please click on the uh, video you see on screen to see my other journals. Thanks for watching and see you next time.